Hello guys, Mr. Shock for King back here once again. You saw the title of the video, No More Heroes 3, just came out with a 25 minute gameplay trailer. And I'm, I'm slightly mad about it because I didn't stay for the entire Nintendo live stream. I thought they were going to show off something from No More Heroes 3, like a, maybe like a 60 second trailer, or even like a 5 minute trailer at E3. But apparently, they showed off an entire 25 minutes. With... I don't know at what point they shut up the live stream or just upload it to the Nintendo channel, but I was managed to see it early this morning, and here I am recording and going like that. But to start off right off the back, uh, what was what, 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 Cause like there are two different guys that, who, uh, uh, who introduced the game. There is that one guy with the glasses, and you had the other one, Tony, Bingo, Tony. And uh, starting off right off the beginning of the trailer, they say there are some things that are returning. From the previous games, the slot machines, you can also do the standard heavy attack, light attack, and, and the kicks. Now, I said one interesting thing that comes from this is the Mustang Dodge. Now, I have played No More Heroes 1 recently. I don't know if I corrected this previously, but I believe a certain form of the Mustang Dodge was in the first game. And I kept triggering it, and I, and, and I, I guess I'm a perfect Dodge machine. Which I don't recall it being in No More Heroes 2, but... Yeah, it's been a while since I played the game in depth. So, but the most interesting thing is there is an option with the death, uh, with the death drive mark two power gloves to drop kick somebody. And the reason I bring it up is, like, towards the end of the uh, end of the mission, after Tony finishes the mission inside the trailer, it shows up the whole result screen, which is the first time you've ever had a result screen in a No More Heroes game, right? And in that result screen. You see time cleared, damage taken, a uh, number, number of skill used one, uh, bonus battle, bonus battle, number of throws, and number of drop kick used. So I don't know if the drop kick is just a part of a regular kick, or the death drive mark to give you a special drop kick. It's not really in depthly explained because if it is like a skill chip for the death gloves, then why would it be a requirement? Because the throws are already in the game. That's how you finish off an opponent or lead up to an opponent getting killed. But uh, uh, who knows? Who knows? Another thing, as uh, Tony and the other guy goes over, you can't collect tape decks, radios, and Vinny dolls, which I get into later. But overall, with the first initial five minutes of the gameplay trailer, it's pretty much everything we've already seen before. We finally get to see, like, we kept on seeing Travis hold up his beam katana, like he's about to, like, no, we always see Travis at night the beam katana, but now she fully shows off this time, is, is when you start off a mission and he's at night the beam katana, like he always does in, in every game. Another interesting thing that pointed out was the aliens. I previously thought, because of potentially of some Japanese censorship over there in Japan, that they were just going to change the blood for the aliens to just this multi-colored rainbow color but apparently it's still red and it's only red for certain aliens and multiple different types of aliens throughout the game have different color of blood I just guess in the previous trailer they just didn't show it off and also another thing to know about this gameplay footage is if you guys are like on the fritz about the way the game looks now this is not their final build this is not the release build it's not even the launch trailer we still got roughly two months to go so I can't really look at this and say this is the final footage because I have seen footage from the previous trailers that look way better than this. The backgrounds and everything. But uh... Also I'll point out another note. Another note is... Mini Market. And it looks similar to that whole post place we saw in the previous trailers. They have a similar looking parking lot but there is no place to actually turn in funds for a boss fight so I, this is a totally different place. But I say one of the biggest reveals from the trailer is, of course, after which, after they hit him with the multi combos, after he light him up like a Christmas tree, which is a proven right. It is just all the beam katanas do have an after effects, like I speculated. But uh, the biggest thing I got seen that comes from this trailer. I seen this trailer, and I, I was hoping to get something more. When I get something more, I, I, I was hoping to get some more of this, but uh. And let me, let me get to it, let me get to it, let me get to it. Come on, come on. I'm a little rushed at this, guys. It's, it's been decades since I've made videos back to back. Back, come on. And the most interesting thing, yeah, yeah. 
let's say the open world we got our first few footage of the open world itself we can see death drive we get to see travis's brand new motorcycle and we get to see what the mini map actually looks like and it's sad that we didn't get any i rather taken about two minutes of open world footage the entire 25 minutes but I, i'll get into that stuff later but yeah you can see the mini map and we can't really see what's behind the uh tony's camera but it seems like there could be something there or there's just trees i believe there's something there but uh the most thing because uh, most interesting thing is what are these coins there are three different coins on the top left and it just it's never addressed it's never brought up it just oh you finish off this little uh, like mini uh mini beat up enemy area and that's it I mean, similar to some of the side missions in No More Heroes 1, it was an option like to hunt down Bastard Jr.'s family, or we had those mini challenges you get next to the job place. But it seemed like it'd be something like that. But sadly, we only get this, and, and, and that's what we go off of. Another thing that comes out of this entire gameplay is we finally get to see what the menu is like. Coming straight out of Travis Strikes again, we got a similar menu to that, and uh, you get to see the player stats. Everything on his upgrades is level one. You can see his uh <laughs> world ending supernova. Which was, was I'm gonna Oh yeah, so yeah that's what that stands. So the whole currency Travis has been using what <laughs> and that stuff he was mining in a previous mineral game is called World End Supernova. So might have something for that. I might have an idea for that. But as the UC, the UC is just, just there. Yeah, the UC, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Use the, uh, use the UC to, uh, to turn the funds. And it, with WHD, that turns into funds, which I, I, I think I am. But the reason why the word ending supernova is so interesting is because they quickly, they quickly, very quickly, for a split second, for a split second, they go past the map, right? to get to this, uh, the settings and it was I was right I was completely right because <laughs> I said before in the previous trailer that maybe like like sent to destroy or some type of places split up into like five different areas and I was right look at it it's right there with the fast travel service right there in front of us we see what the whole map thing that fool was looking at in the previous trailer I was right it was like sent to destroy or some place was more than likely is sent to destroy broken up into five pieces I don't know if it's some type of being some some type of cosmetic event. I don't know if food blew it up or not, or or global warming, which I hope is not the usual global warming. The global warming is global warming anywhere. But I, uh, yeah, and I don't know why the other places are locked up. I don't know if they sit up because of a boss fight. It would make sense that the multiple five pieces are broken off because of a boss fight. But then again, it could be something different. But with the whole world in the noble and the minerals Travis and mining, it's almost like a meteorite hit the planet or something else of, of that type of mean. Can we never did see this mineral before? And it seems like it's very specific to this game. So I, I say it's some type of mineral that hit the planet or something food brought down. It's something that somebody else brought to the planet. It was never here before this game. And whatever event that destroyed California and uh, pretty much the entirety of Santa destroyed. But uh, you do see a, a like two plays crossed together. Maybe that's just a place where you beat up some enemies. Maybe it's not. And yeah, some other purple stuff. I, I just need to get my glasses. But uh, besides from that, that's all. That's all you, you pretty much. That's all, that's all you pretty much see from here from the map. Really, you have like other some like other icons on there. But I can't really make up what some of those are. One looks like it could be a shield. The other one seems like it's some type of. Oh, actually, the blue ones could be mining a job, uh, uh, volunteer missions, which uh, City 51 brings up late in the trailer that there are volunteer missions and no side jobs. So that's how you earn money and get stuff like that. On which it's still the same thing, but the way Suda was explained it towards the end, like it was something different. But yeah, maybe it's maybe it. Cause you still need money, but <laughs> and he loads up the new game. And we get to see the initial, the very initial, inside of the no, the no more heroes motel. Now I was partially right. It's not a stripper pole, but it is a flagpole. I, I give it that. It may not be a stripper pole, but it is a flagpole. And pretty much, 
a better question is how do we get to this point how do we get here how do we get to sense of destroy being broken up like this how do we like at least with food and like with mr wormhole and mr black hole all that stuff was teased just like marking yeah just like death and drive being here was also all teased and travis strikes again but sense of destroy wasn't destroyed so was this some type of classic cataclysmic event or just travis woke up one day and they looked all like this or maybe food took sense of destroy broke it up sp spread it across the planet claim it's the way that world was supposed to be and uh maybe he's trying to unlock the secret to life or something who knows but pretty much the motel looks pretty much the same besides that you get to collect figurines which was with that vana doll from earlier and the tapes are apparently used to unlock more skill chips which Tony and uh, the other guy brings up later on in the trailer but overall the first level of the motel looks the same was I, I did bring up before maybe Travis owned the entire motel itself which would it be impossible since he still owns death metals uh death metals mansion but yeah who knows who knows and I go over the customization they do change his shirt or you can have an option for the first time. Yeah, it is the first time. You can walk around with Travis with no jacket. Yeah, with no jacket. But besides that, that's uh, that's all that's notable to point out from there. They just changed the color and shirt, and uh, that's pretty much it for the wardrobe. Now, at, and they, and it, uh, it is kind of sad to see that with Gene in the game, it seems like there's only going to be one mini game with Gene, which is just throwing the ball. And also, fact to bring up, Tony is playing the game with the. Uh, the Switch Joy-Cons, which they still haven't released a new version where the Joy-Cons don't drift. And they're probably going to announce that for the Switch Pro, which is something you shouldn't be advertising. It is what it is with that. But it seems like only one mini game with Gene, which is sad. Now, we don't have to make Gene obese again, but can, can you at least buy some cat toys for the cat and play some other mini games? Who knows? And if she says, you suck or you trash if you're bad at the uh, throwing the ball and down the flagpole. At once again, also he did bring up we also using toilets to save, which it wouldn't be no more heroes if that wasn't the case. Now the most interesting thing is the third floor of the No More Heroes Motel. What happened to Dr. Naomi? Because we didn't hear me before or find out from the wiki. Do or, or from uh, Travis Strikes again. Dr. Naomi is the not twin sister, but she is the sister of Dr. Juvenile from No More Heroes. So she was at least 60 to like 100 years old in No More Heroes previously, but how did she end up getting transformed into some type of guide-like soccer tree? <laughs> no one knows! It's just, they show it off. It says Dr. Naomi gives no type of backstory to it. Oh my- <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> Cause like, trying to go just interact with the, uh, the pirate machine. And Naomi's like, hey, creepy ass otaku, really? Really? You you, you and him go way back and that's how he talks to you? Wow, no wonder why you're a treat. <laughs> I'll use my pirate machine to enhance your skills for you. My goodness. <laughs> Stick in all the devil you get, all the, the world in supernova you, you get. Yeah, 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 I think the, U, uh, the UC is for the uh, actual going to the uh, boss fights and the W and the world ending supernova is for the upgrades which how would the upgrade Travis if he's some type of mineral or something but then again it is going into a machine maybe he's getting a genetical enhancement or something is this at this point if Travis and it would be uh, Travis an alien or something like that or some, some super soldier that'd be odd uh, but uh you see in the trailer they do use those tapes to get a brand new skill chip, which in this case there's like two different things. There's a uh, there's the Death Drive Mark II Super Attacks, and there's the skill chips, which is just basically enhance Travis up by pretty much like maybe like two five or like maybe just one point five percent. Like I'm pretty sure there's gonna be one for health. There could be one for updating Travis's damage. There could be one even to upgrade his speed. Or his health recovery, or a shorter recharge time, which you could upgrade in the uh, power machine, but with the skill chip option of passive involuntary of passive <laughs> involuntary abilities, I believe that that could be some options. And you gotta also, I, I didn't notice the first time, you gotta mash the button to correct the skill chips, which is starting to take me back to some uh, Transformers devastation, but uh. 
Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Who's, who's that guy? Can you see this guy with the afro throughout the, ga uh, the game? Who's never dressed? They, they never give this man a name. And uh, I, I gotta, I gotta pause it. Ooh, and come on, Billy. Come on. Who is, who is this man? Oh, bingo! There he is. Oh yeah, I believe it's that guy from Travis Strikes Again, who was uh, he was in those uh, game magazines. I believe that's who that is. <laughs> There's a supercomputer in there that you, know, you, you can access to create encrypt death drive chips which have a wide range of special effects. Uh, but I, I just addressed that. And that was a speculatory. Also, you can order some food in this game, which. Oh, actually, no, no, there's an item system in this game. Cause I wonder, like, why were they ordering food for it? But apparently, also, No More Heroes 3, there will be some type of item system where you can use an item to recover your health mid-game. So I guess we're no longer chasing out the pizza cyclists, I believe. The Ninja Turtles would not appreciate that. But apparently, you can't replenish health mid-game. I guess there'll be no more breaking open crates and we're getting health anymore. I'm not saying it'd be like that officially, but why else would you have food as health items now? And also, they do bring up there's a time machine which would allow you to uh, replay the bosses, which that's kind of broken. Twitter to be a time machine, it really is. But I, I, I gotta see how to do that time machine thing. I, I gotta see that. Uh, they bring up the soccer tree, and then I load up a different save, and then I go right into the Golden Joe boss fight. And we get to hear Gene's voice for the first time, in which. From Travis Strikes again, I was never to expect it to sound like that. I have a super deep voice, sounding like Gary from SpongeBob when SpongeBob went into Gary's dream. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is inside the the cube, that cube spaceship from the uh, previous Nintendo Direct trailer, and that's when you meet Golden Joe, which is just <laughs> who's just pretty much a, a new age artist <laughs> with his snappity pop pop. Pop reactions. Let I call him Gold Joe. I should have sworn his name is Golden Joe. I swear. I, I mean, when I, I swear I said Golden Joe. I could be misremembering, but uh, <laughs> my modern artwork and it goes through the the entire thing. And these just have Travis is down, and he just uh, I would say see, I I do feel kind of kind. I do feel it a certain type of way with the whole Golden Joe in gameplay itself, and that is number one. I didn't really need to know how to defeat Golden Joe, or since, especially since there's not going to be any more phases to the boss fights, I didn't really need to know how to defeat Golden Joe at all. And it is a cause for concern, because like, it's just like, oh, yes. uh, Travis does the first war thing, and it's just, and there's just something different when he does it in this game. Well, in particular with Golden Joe, before, it, it will be Travis, but here it's like, it's not like, I, I can't really, it, it's different. And it's not the threat that Gene the Cat is there. Oh, but, yeah, I didn't really need to see Golden Joe get defeated and get killed. Now, there is a brand new system where you get killed. You could potentially unlock, like, an attack up bonus. And I'm pretty sure there could be one for an extra life. I'm curious what happened when you land on go full, gro uh, full of uh, grown food. Does it come into assist or do something like that? But, uh, yeah, and I thought at least... As you know, Golden Joe's health going out. Sure, it's not the final build of the game, but there's like roughly two months out, so who knows how far they get to the game when it first to development. But it doesn't seem like Golden Joe changes his attack as his health go down at all. And uh, they really did hype it when Travis was about to get killed. Oh, you see something? There's something amazing. Nothing really happened. So you got food. Travis and Sylvia, and you have Jean, and then you have Kid Fu, which I don't believe is supposed to get anything on red, and which is why those are red, but I could be wrong, because because he, he got that normal looking food, and nothing happened there, so maybe it is with the character faces, and the red is just some extra bonus or some extra defect, but who knows? And this is fast, I, I would prefer that they fast forward through the boss fight and not show what type of bonus you got, and just Another fight of fans, but you could get a bonus if you, you die multiple times. <laughs> guidance, guidance, gu wait, wait, go back. Guiding is that, is that his name? The whole guy with the afro with the glasses. Guiding that no G that 
Jida's voice when I'm curious about who that is, but I personally did not see need to see Golden Joe get killed. I personally did not have to see him get split in half and then see the entire cutscene afterwards. I didn't need to see it, it, it and it's, when I was watching it, it's the same thing with uh, Destroy Man. Sure, we did already know that Destroy Man was going to be in the game. Fine. We didn't have to see actual gameplay footage of him. That was unnecessary. And then like here, and it's just like... <laughs> Suda 51 does bring up later that, oh, you see a very... Uh, multiple different bosses, different personalities, and it's just like... Jo Golden Joe gets killed. And it's just like... In the previous No More Heroes games, even with uh, even with uh, Nathan Copeland, you, you you'll get something. You'll get like a little bit more of the boss's personality, something like that. Her Shinobu Jacobs destroy me. You you'll get something there. With Golden Joe, I do like his quirky personality. I I do like Joe, but it says he reacts to Travis. Travis is like, oh you know you better explain uh like, like change color for north and south and. That's that's it. And then he gets split in half. Joe is still alive. And like there's some type of minerals he got inside his body while he was just carrying. And then Travis picks one up and just beats him to death with it. You know, milk stuff like everything. That's why it makes us get money. He he he. And which if he was already split in half, just like he should be dead, but <sighs> And then Suda comes in, if you buy the collection of No More Heroes 1, 2, and 3, or have No More Heroes 1, 2, and 3 on the Switch, it will unlock a t-shirt, which, I hope those are some spectacular t-shirts designed to bring it up, just, or maybe you can unlock the t-shirt, and hopefully get the previous Travis, uh, Travis jacket, or pants, or something like that, but I don't think that'll show up here. And I hope the, the, the dual with him being Katana show up in this game, but there's no guarantee of that. We could have seen some racing gameplay, we didn't see any of that. We could have seen some open world gameplay, we didn't get seen in that, because arguably, let's let's be honest here. Let's be, let's see, yeah, he also tells us the name of the, the motorcycle. And uh, let's be honest here. Most of this gameplay, we've already seen. We've already seen the screenshots of, Noma, of, of Travis's motel apartment. We've already seen it. All three levels of it. Because remember those images that show up in the live stream. And that was it. So it just. I would have taken at least three minutes of open world footage, to be honest. And then a tired 25 minutes of No More Heroes 3. Nothing bad, but I didn't see need to see the entire Golden Joe boss fight. Which is. Is that the type of quality of boss fights you'd be getting? Because remember, Golden Joe is a part of the Black Hole Prisoners. It, 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 is, is that it? Now we don't get to see the rest of his cutscenes because Mr. Wormhole has some other cutscenes and Golden Joe at the game who did show up. So maybe we get to see some more of his personality there. But for a number of heroes games, he shows up, get killed, and that's it. And shit, it's kind of the thing, but I'm not looking for the No More Heroes 1 themes. Or no, I'm looking for anything for No More Heroes 2. I couldn't, really couldn't hear the music in the game either. But I, I thought they were. <laughs> Be a uh, be a little bit more something, uh, some, something a little bit different here, but it's just uh, and it's not like I had my expectations high. I was just surprised they showed off 25 minutes of gameplay. I was like, 25 minutes, like what? Like why didn't they show anything at E3? Like why didn't they show anything at E3? Like. If I didn't type in No More Heroes 3 and look at news, I would never find out about this at all. So, like no teaser, there's no return trailer, or you know, go to Nintendo channel or anywhere to look at the full 25 minutes of game. Is there like, really? This is, this is an, it didn't like people say Nintendo warned E3 by showing off what? The Breath of the Wild sequel? With no context, and then they say, "Oh, we got a little surprise." That shows you the exact same cutscene. Are you serious? Are you serious? What what part of E3 of Nintendo, uh, Mario Cross Rabbits 2, seen that already? Metroid, which is everybody wanted Metroid Prime 4, so that's another delay, or a game that potentially is not coming out. So, 
or ever will be made. So it's just like, how did Nintendo win E3? It's just, maybe I'm on drugs, but I, I'm, maybe it's the problem is me or something. Because I, I can't sit here and hop on a Nintendo train when Nintendo treat their fans like they, like, basically like second class citizens. It's, it's, it's just like, fans trying to do something. Try to hold their own tournaments to shut it down. Try to upload video about the game, they shut it down. Upload review, they shut it down. Everything you do, they shut, used to shut it down. And then they just take this abuse and these. Eh. What, what, because they showed off Kazooie in Smash? No one was expecting a Tekken character in Smash. Only Tekken characters will be a fight side for Kazooie. And that's it! Everybody else was, was speculating, uh. Like, like Master Chief, or like Doom Guy, or. It was somebody else. It was, it was some other character. They were speculating somebody else. Besides from Kazuya. Which is that. that it is what it is that. But Nintendo won E3. When they could have showed off more games. No. Just. No. Not in my opinion. Ar arguably this is one of the weakest E3's we had. But the Xbox do you nothing. Capcom is a joke. But. That's all up subject. But, uh, yeah, overall, I did like what I see from the No More Heroes gameplay trailer. I did enjoy what I see. I'm just kind of upset that we could have saw some more open world gameplay. On Studio 51, it's like, oh, you're excited to play it to pre-order the game? Not too much, really? You don't, you don't, you don't show up the entire Golden Joe getting killed? And then, the most interesting thing is, you announced that this open world would be like what like five times bigger or like i forgot the exact multiple uh, the multiply bigger than no more heroes one and you have yet to show off any of that it's so bigger it's so massive i enjoyed everything i see because like with the gameplay we're already seeing this stuff we get to see there's a drop kick we got to see that we can still do kicks and the slash and dash and the slot machine and the tiger which is all the stuff we expected it to come back and they only showed off one death drive move which could be a part of Travis's arsenal already which is just all right we got that footage we get to see Travis power up again which we got an explanation of what the super in uh, the world in supernova is and the uh and the S and the UC is you got to see the full names of that we get to not find out that Dr. Naomi is a tree and you can get sushi on demand. You can collect these figures. You can change Travis's clothes. You can do that and never no more heroes. And there's a time machine which allows you to replay boss fights, which is you could have just made that virtual reality, but I want to say out of the time machine. Because the technically the time machine concept is broken. Unless it's stuck to a certain frequency where you can only go through the most recent things. It's literally broken. And you had the whole tutorial place, but overall, I did like what I see. I did like Golden Joe. I could, but my whole thing is, we kind of already seen this. I did want to see some, like someone actually play the game. Yeah, but there are kicks in the game. We didn't get to see it. We got to show off one drop kick, which is part of Death Drive Mark II. He just slashed and murdered everybody like the usual. We find out a, a, a good thing with a multiple aliens do spill out different color blood, which is I guess something they, they're, they're putting into the game now, or just changing the textures for. Because in the previous trailers we didn't see that. Because he was slashing up basic enemies, and you didn't see that. He was just all just colorful red rainbow. And now with these basic goons, they're they're now bleeding different colors, which is I can see why someone would be concerned for the quality. Or the look of the game because compared to the previous games, not the PS3 one, no more heroes one and two, it's just uh, it left some, some something to be desired, it really is. But uh, especially how this game looks different from the second trailer, but uh, it, it's not the final gameplay. And uh, August 27th, the game comes out, and uh, I, I'm not really hating it, it's just I've already seen this stuff before. I've already seen that Travis could upgrade. It's good that we get to see the motel. But we already seen screenshots of that doing a live stream. So I thought it would like change Travis's outfit or would it be modifiers from no, like like from No My Heroes 1 that you can get on the beam katanas that was in the second game, as far as I know. <sighs> and you could upgrade the different dashes and which is the is odd uh, wouldn't this be the first time that you get to upgrade how long the beam katana can 
can go on, on the duration of being good time before it's a recharge that would be the first time as far as i know but overall i did enjoy it but i was really hoping I'm back hopefully it stays hopefully it stays I really have three minutes of solid gameplay of the open world and some uh, other side missions and collecting the figures and look how you can customize Travis and be prepared on August 17th and then like doing the launch or something like that they show off like you know the 10 minutes from IG and things like that instead of seeing the entire Golden Joe fight because I believe that we are gonna have a mech battle with death and drive at least we should have one or it could just be a space battle who knows but i am slightly disappointed i i i, I can't lie to that bad and i can't lie to anybody watching this video about my opinions i did enjoy what i see but like did we have to see jordan go get killed did we have to see like the basic combat we've already seen because we could she only saw like five minutes of it but it's <laughs> In the end screen and Travis going to power up, which you already knew you could power up. It's fun to know what happened to Dr. Naomi and we do now have items and we're going to use a time machine to go fight previous bosses and there's like a tutorial place and there's three different levels in the motel which you can customize more in there if you want. You can just throw in a tiger red but I don't think that'd be an option. Or you could have either had some open wear footage where you just go to a clothing store and buy some damn clothes. Like... Like, honestly, the world makes worship most of the damn gameplay on Golden Joe! And you got killed twice. Because they're trying to show off the whole the whole randomizer at the end. That you could potentially win a bonus fire up. Maybe I'm just being the negative man on the planet, but I am slightly disappointed. I, I will admit that. I, I am slightly disappointed. I, I was hopefully getting get something a little bit more than this than, than, than what we've got. Because the most biggest feature was the whole open world and that's something that we haven't seen we've already seen basic gameplay of Travis and it's good to see someone actually playing it with voiceover but we already seen it and we could have said 25 minutes or something close to the game release I want to see some open world I want to see some further customization but maybe I'm just being a negative man I hope you guys enjoyed the trailer hopefully you guys out there can enjoy something I couldn't because I, I I was hoping for something different, you know. We got get the motorcycles with, with Travis. Uh, obviously, Travis would have multiple motorcycles. They could have shown none of what type of customization you can add to that since it was DLC for the PS3 game. Or it could be like, hey, got no more heroes too. One strikes again. Well, you can get all those jackets in this game and more. But uh, well, I'll say this: if I don't enjoy it, I hope you guys enjoy it i hope this makes you happy i hope you're going ballistic i hope it makes you even getting in closer to purchasing the game because at this point in life i don't expect things to entertain me anymore because i've been It is what it is. But uh, I've been Mr. Shock with Kim. You guys like the video. What do you guys think of the 25 minutes of gameplay? What, what are some interesting things you got out of it? What do you believe happened to Dr. Naomi? Do you believe there'll be Beam Katana modifiers? Will the Beam Katanas continue to hang out Travis Bell? Will you be able to do all this type of stuff? Will you be able to customize the colors? Or complete customization of Travis's bike? How do you believe the volunteer missions would actually work? What type of extended powers? There's so many ideas in the pen, but this has been my impressions and my takes on the trailer. It's been me, Shockwave King, and peace. Hope you guys enjoyed the game.